the regular board meeting with the president and board of trustees, Judge Burnham, uh, Cook County, Illinois, today is September 13, 2022. It is now 10 p.m. At this time, I will ask the clerk to call the roll. Trustee Cass? Absent. Trustee Hodges? Here. Trustee Garcia? Trustee Greer? Trustee Richardson? Here. Trustee Claybrook? Here. Trustee Mayor Holt? Here. Here, present. Pledge allegiance to each man for that leader of trustees. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which stands one nation under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Okay, thank you. Is there any approval or corrections of the minutes of the board meeting that was held? August 23rd, 2022. Are there any corrections to the minutes? There are no uh, corrections to the minutes for August 23rd. I will ask for a motion to approve the, the minutes for August 23rd. Uh, so, uh, I have a motion to approve the minutes for August 23rd. There's a motion to approve by Trustee Hodges. Can we have a second? Second. Okay, the clerk take a roll. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Mayor Polk? Yes. Our motion passed. Okay, before we open to the meeting to the public, if you have anything to say to the board, if you will stand up and address yourself for three minutes. Uh, and uh, if you will stand up and do that, and we'll call you to answer the right thing. Uh, well, then, if I'm, I'm going to ask for a motion to open the meeting to the public. I'll make a motion to open the meeting to the public. A motion to approve by Trustee Claybrooks to open the meeting to the public. Can we have a second? Second. Second by Trustee Hodges and the clerk call the roll. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Mayor Polk? Okay, thank you. Uh, motion passed. Meeting is now open to the public. Uh, public comment. Yes, my name is Jacqueline Cosby. I live on 141st and Leslie. This is the second car that hit a man on my block. Them kids is riding them little motorcycles. I got the video on my phone. Me and my son went to the people's house yesterday and talked to the, 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 uh, the brother or the sister that ran into my car. The parents was not at home. They supposed to have reached out to me that same day, which was yesterday, and they didn't. We went by there again today. They was not there. So he texts his mother and father, and they said that they will be there after 7 o'clock. And I want to know, if they don't get in touch with me, can I call the police on them so my car can be fixed? This is my second car being hit on that block with a motorcycle. Well, since the police just walked in, I would ask, uh, uh, could you repeat your question? Could you repeat your question? Oh. 141st and Benzer, them kids are riding motorcycles back and forth, back and forth. My car got hit okay. yesterday. So uh, the parents are supposed to come and see me this evening. And if they don't come and see me this evening, I'm going to come to the police and report it. All right. It, there's two big issues with that. First of all, the uh, dirt bikes, they're off-road bikes that they're running around with. They don't have plates or insurance on them. Mm -hmm. okay. So that would be an issue with you if the parents don't want to pay, okay? Mm -hmm. And you have to identify them. Secondly and foremost, it's not much we can do with them because what they're doing is they're getting up onto the railroad property, the railroad tracks and stuff. We don't have the capability to follow them there. Mm -hmm. We'd have, we would have to have dirt bikes, okay, mm -hmm. of substance bigger than what they have to actually chase them down. There's just absolutely no way. Okay, so it's nothing that y'all can do about the kids on the street, well, we can five and six years old, riding bikes, running into people's cars. We we can try stopping them. Uh huh. They don't stop when they take off. There's not much we can do if they get out into the weeds and they know better. Mm -hmm. Okay, those those dirt bikes are just that dirt bikes. They're designed to be driven in uh, weeded, wooded swamp areas. Okay. Our cars are not. Mm -hmm. We're restricted. We can't do that. So once they're in there, they're gone. Unless we can identify them at a later time and go get them, mm -hmm. which is almost impossible. 
Okay, how come signs can't be put up on the block saying no dirt bikes or whatever you call them? They look motorcycles to me. Yeah, but the problem is uh, there's speed limit signs, there's stop signs, there's one way signs, and people don't adhere to any of that either. So do you think these kids are going to adhere to the signs about no dirt bikes? Well, I, I would say, in addition to that, I would just say the sooner later, and the sooner later the police are going to catch them and uh, when they catch them in the act, and I mean, it's nothing down the street. So. It's not like we won't take the action to do it. It's just difficult. So it seems like she should be able to file a report with the police and the parents should be held responsible for any damage. If you catch the kid that she actually knows, did it. I know the child who's on my phone. I have a camera up there. Oh, okay. you actually saw him hit the phone? Exactly. Exactly. It's recorded on her phone. It's on my phone. You want to see it? You know who the kid is? Yes. You can't see it now. And she called my son and apologized for hitting my car. Okay. But see, what I'm going to do, I was going to wait and see if the parents going to come to my house first. Then if they don't come to my house, I'm going to call the police on them. Because my car is going to have to be fixed. Do you, do you know where he lives in Yes, state? I do. Okay. So, in this case, then, and you, you really talked to the parents, you called them? Me and my son went down there. Okay. They don't talk English. Mm. The son talks English. That's the one that we talked to. Okay. And he texted his mother and father today. And they will be home after 7 o'clock this evening. Okay. What I would suggest, because maybe he was interpreting differently to them, and you wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would get, a, I'll have to look at the schedule and see when we have our Spanish speakers are available. Mm -hmm. Have one of our guys go with you okay. and do the interpretation, mm -hmm. which you know would be fair. Okay. Okay, you follow? Okay. I, follow. I mean, obviously we would be unbiased. The uh -huh. sign would be biased. Okay. Okay? Uh -huh. And I would do that. So we can look, I can let you know who's on the schedule after the meeting. And then we'll find out who our Spanish speakers are and who's working when. Mm -hmm. And you can deal with them then. Okay. That would probably be the most practical uh, mm -hmm. avenue on this. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you. Oh, thank you. Are there any other public comments? I do have something. My name is April Franklin. I live at one thirty nine forty Harvest um, There's recently been some type of event ceremony that's being held on the weekend, and I noticed that there's a lot of drag racing down the street. There's speed bumps. I have four grandkids that live there on the block, and this is, event runs from six to like eleven at night, and it's like two to three hundred people in the back. Um, I'm just concerned uh, as a resident with the noise and the, the, the glass bottles being left and, and hanging out in the back. If if you were aware of it, it or it well, I do know that I was told uh, a few months ago they had a party down there, and then I was sent a video a couple nights ago that they was having another party, and then someone else had told me that the person is renting the house out for parties. Well, I was not aware of that, but we are looking into that, and we certainly do not want that type of behavior here in the village to run up. You know, we've had some some of that, it's, so it's we're not in favor of that. It's posted on Eventbrite, which is for the whole world to see. Okay. And this is bigger than 31st Street Beach Park. This is bigger than... We can look into that, too. Right. It's almost the size of the taste of Chicago. What's the address? It's 139.40 Hawk Street. It's at the back. But my main concern is the after hours, the, the, the speeding up and down the street with the loud music, and there are kids on the block, and I've never seen anything like this. So is it, is it, is there you haven't seen my face here, so it's yeah. too positive in it because it got me to this room. So you said it's every Saturday? This, no, it's not Friday. every Saturday. I think it was what, that was the last one, Friday. It was Friday. Friday. It's the weekend. Usually, but right? it's the Around weekend. Five, but, between five yeah. and like nine. Right. Yeah, I did it's give that. I did give that to the police chief yesterday to follow that up. So we are looking into that. Well, actually, I'm certainly appreciate that. Uh, thank you. Thank uh -huh. you. Thank you. Are there any other public comments? I was just gonna piggyback on what she said there, but the, the thing was when I got up that Saturday to go out, there was whiskey bottles on my grass and a lot of debris. I just put on some rubber gloves and picked it up. 
Yeah. But it kind of reminded me of what we had years ago. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you so much. As long as you're aware of it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you can't park because the parking is taken up. You can't even find a parking space in front of you. Right. Okay. Yeah. Your car is parked and you're getting on when you come back. It's 130 and 40 Hot Seat. That's the address. Right. It's not this. It's always down. It's from look like down. it's in the water. Oh, okay. If you go down Hot Seat and head toward the water, you'll you be sitting right there. You better than 138 and 100 miles. Okay, thank you for your comments. Thank you. Are there any other public comments? Any other public comments? I'll ask for a motion to close the meeting to the public. I'll make a motion to close the meeting to the public. Make a motion on the by Trustee Richardson to close the meeting to the public. So we have a second, please. Second. Second by Trustee Clever with Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Mayor Polk? Yes. Um, we're going to be doing some uh, street patching that will be in a couple of areas or spots in the village. So you know, over the next couple of weeks or so, Try to get rid of some of the bumps out the streets and hoping that don't speed the traffic up. Um, and also, we, um, we've been doing some buildings or repairs um, at the senior center. We've done some improvement there with the floor <coughs> tile. Some other buildings uh, need some maintenance work, so we're just taking a look at that. Trustee Clipper may have something in addition. To some um, I was talking to one of my daughters last night, and I was telling them a couple of my a pair of shorts of mine and, and a pair of khakis of mine they had a, a bad stain in them. And she told me I could use a baking soda and some water and they would come out. She was 100% correct and did a great job. <laughs> I, I did not say. know that. I did not know that. So I asked her where did she learn it from. She said she learned it from her mother. Mm -hmm. So that means that my wife is dead five and a half years and she's still living in there. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Glue. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Was at the community center on September 8th, and we had a total of 19 um, driver license renewals, 13 ID renewals, two um, under the age of 21, one CDL, and nine renewal stickers. That's a pretty good turnout. Yeah, that's a good turnout. Not this year. We don't have a schedule. Did you need it? And that is all I have. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I would like for your report on this resolution and plan of uh, Trustee Claybrook. Can you take the of consideration of and taking action to approve or not approve on the collective bargaining agreement between the Village of Burnham and Teamsters Local 700 Public Works Department from May 1st, 2022 through April 30th, 2026. Are there any questions from the board about the provisions of the contract? I make a motion make a motion to approve on the collective bargaining agreement between the Village of Burnham and Teamsters Local 700 Public, Public Works Department from May 1st, 2022 through April 30th, 2026. Have you made the motion to allow me to second? Second. Second by Trustee Hodges and Clint Rollins. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Mayor Polk? Yes. Um, on the ordinance resolution and plan, now Trustee Claybrook, if you make that. Okay. Discussion of, consideration of, and taking action to approve or not approve on the ordinance number 2022-0-003 and ordinance establishing establishing the salaries of elected officials, uh, appointed officials, local liquor 
control commissioner, members of the police department, members of the fire department, and other employees of the village of Burnham, Cook County, Illinois. So you make the motion, you make a motion. That's right. I make a motion now. I make a motion to approve on the ordinance number 2022-0-003, an ordinance establishing the salaries of elected officials, appointed officials, local liquor control commissioner, members of the police department, members of the fire department, and other employees of the village of Burnham, Cook County, Illinois. A second. We have the motion on the floor by Trustee Pembroke. Second. Trustee Pembroke, second. Discussion of, consideration of, and taking action to approve or not approve on the new business application by Doe Management Incorporated, DBA, Domino's Pizza. The location will be 13850 Brainerd, Unit A, Building B, Burnham, Illinois, 60633. Okay, so before you make the motion, Trustee, before I ask for the board's consent and approval, we have a representative here from Domino's, so you would just stand up and give us an introduction and I'm sure the board would have some questions. <coughs> sure. Yeah, my name is uh, Jim Gardner and my partner Steve Casper's X here as well. Thanks. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Oh, so yeah, so we're, uh, got a spot picked out, obviously, you guys are already aware, um, across from the Burger King. Um, we own several franchises already. Um, this will be number 38. Um, most of the Northwest Indiana. Um, your stores are over in Hammond. Been in the business. Oh, sure, sorry. I've um, been in the business since uh, 1984, started as a delivery driver, uh, worked my way up, and uh, been franchising now for about 30 years. Um, so if you guys have any specific questions about Domino's, happy to answer them, but hopefully you guys are familiar with us. Okay, so, um, um, so approximately, I mean, how long do you think it would take you to put the operation <clears throat> so we are, our plans are finished and our equipment's ordered, so we're ready to start construction. I was not aware of this process, so um, that's the only thing holding us up right now, because we have, this is the first time I've actually had to do this in any, any town. Yeah, yeah. So, But we're ready, we're pretty much ready to start going. I would say we would start by around October 1st is what our hope would be, and it probably would take, because of the holidays, it might take 90 days, but somewhere between the 60 to 90 day mark. We always just bring everything before the board so that way no one would be able to say that I didn't know. Gotcha. Public sure, sure. Public transparency. Gotcha. Any other questions for Mr. Don? How's the hiring process? Are you being staffed already? No, no. So, we, you know, obviously we would like to hire local um, from the community. Um, so that would be, you know, how we would approach that. Oh, so if you stand over here for some of the people can't hear you, they say. Oh, I'm sorry. What do you want me to say? If you don't mind. Over here? Yeah. Sure. Um, so yeah, so we would, we would try to hire local. Um, that would be our, our anticipation. Um, we'd probably be looking to bring in about, I would say, probably about 15, 15 to 20 people, depending on how the volume is in the store. Full and part-time. What will be your hours? Uh, we open at 10 a.m. and we close at midnight, and then 1 a.m. on the weekends, on Saturday and Sunday, or Friday and Saturday. Where's the store? Uh, Domino's Pizza. Oh, I would also like to say for the record, I would like to say for the record, uh -huh. this is the first national chain in the village of Barnum Elbow. Uh, so, are there any other questions? Where is it going to be located? Um, do you know where the Burger King's at? Who's the Burger King? In yeah, yeah. right across the street from there, there's a strip center that's being built yeah, that's being renovated right now. That's considered, that's not Burnham. That is Burnham, yep. Yeah, that, uh, that, that corner, is, that one corner is Burnham. Right, on the corner. Mm-hmm. I don't know where that is, I didn't know it was Burnham. Yep. The old car wash is in Chicago, but the, but the new building that is in Burnham. We need the pizza place, thank you. <laughs> Are there any other questions? No, we deliver, so you guys have to go out in the winter. <laughs> This is, this is meaty. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Okay, thank you guys. Nice to meet all of you. I make a motion to approve on the new business application by Doe Management Incorporated, DBA Domino's Pizza. The location will be 
Yeah, the time change, I'll, we'll let you guys know, but it's going to be 12 o'clock, September 24th, okay? Um, also, I want to, this is from the, this, and also, the, um, the, I will like to thank the fire department too, because we partnered with them. They actually um, was there to help the kids out as far as refereeing. They actually donated the uniforms for the kids, so big shout out to Chief Pooch and the rest of the fire department. They did such a great job with the kids Saturday. They're also helping us with the soccer tournament. And again, I want to thank everybody for the support. The September 24th soccer tournament. You guys know this? Okay. Um, also, I want to, this is from the Chief's desk. I want to uh, report, report a grant award from the fire department. Um, this is to the Honorable Mayor, Clerk, and the Trustees. I respectfully submit this letter to bring one for news and announcement that the Burnham Fire Department has been awarded $37,919 um, from a FEMA assistance to firefighters grant to be used towards new estric estrication equipment for our members. The new education equipment will be used to help our firefighters safely educate citizens from trapped vehicles and stabilize scenes and use its forceful entry for hard to open doors with which the structure is on fire just to name something with these new tools. So basically, um, we're getting some new tools for our fire department to be used, um, tax free, it's a grant, and um, he's going to give us, let everybody know we got new grants, some good new fire equipment. And thanks to David Sayada. Yeah, right. thanks to David Sayada. Because he's the one that did the grant money. Yep, yeah, David Sayada, yeah, right there. Our safety officer, David Sayada, he did the grant. Yeah. For the dedication to the village. So, you guys see him? And thank you. Mayor, yeah, I, yeah, I know the, the meeting is closed to the public. The, um, sometimes things happen after the meeting, right? The gentleman said he's opening up his business. Are you going to hire any uh, employees from Burnham? Oh, yeah. Okay. 100%. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Oh. I didn't hear that. Okay. He said he was going to hire locally, which you know means the community. Well, I just want to know if it's going to be from Burnham for this year. You may have no, right. no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to staff the store, so I mean, anybody who wants to come in, absolutely. Are you going to fill out an application? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and another thing, they send me the, the ticket from the fire department. Already wrote out the check, but do I just take it up there and put drop it in the mail? Oh, you can mail it if you want to. Uh, um, I'll take it up there. I think they got a mail slot there. Okay. Yeah. No. I'm not sure. Oh, if you want to, you can bring it up here as well. So. And then okay. we'll give it to the public. Yeah, yeah we'll give it to the public. Okay, thank we'll... you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right, thank you, Trustee Hodges, for that report. Thank you. I'm um, pleased to present the conclusion to the right here. <coughs> business but we'd like to announce that uh, we will not meet on September 27th that will be our summer recess meeting so the next meeting is either September 17th of October there is a project that is uh, pending that might be going to public bid so the push comes to shove and I'll have to call the board back early I mean before the second meeting in October so if that happens then, uh, then we'll make it public and we'll publish it like we always do um, under uh, new business, uh, we do need that trust your heart. And before, and, and before he starts, this pertains to executive session. Again, if we have to, uh, to discuss the issue of disciplinary action against employees or termination or whatever the case may be, or uh, litigation, uh, imminent litigation, whatever the case may be, we have to go into executive session. So that's what this next part is about. I, if you want to stay after we come out of executive session, then we'll be back out here and then we'll dismiss. Uh, so, uh, request for closed session per 5 ILCS 120 2, copyright uh, that's tw 21. Special minutes lawfully closed, but for purposes of approval. This one's 5 ILCS 120-2, copyright 11, 
litigation when the action against the affecting or behalf of the village has been filed is pending before a court administrative tribunal or when the board finds that an action is probable or imminent. Also, uh, 5 ILCS 120-2, copyright 1, appointment, employment, compensation, discipline, performance, or dismissal of specific employees of the public body or legal counsel. Okay, so I'm going to ask for a motion to move the board to second session. make a motion to um, to resume uh, the regular uh, meeting. No, no, no. No, 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 Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Mayor Polk. Uh, meetings adjourned. Thanks for coming.